Yeah, I know we lost touch, but I'm still here We were young, we were kids, it was something rare I told you everything But when it all burned down and you were left with nothing Did you question God or did you see it coming? Come on! Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a summer clean with me and honestly I am so excited to give you guys a new clean with me video we had planned on giving you guys a video a lot sooner however mother nature had a different opinion about that but thankfully god was able to keep us safe and no major issues were done but we did have a tornado touchdown probably a mile from our home and so there was a lot of destruction power outages and internet issues and things like that but we are back up ready to go and so anyway today's video is a summer clean with me i do have a little bit of a grocery haul for you guys that i'm going to be sharing first before we do anything else and of course i have some little bit of a gardening and things like that so anyway let's jump into today's video i'm gonna do a quick grocery haul so i've got some cheese some meats and butter. I also got some baking soda, vanilla, peanut butter. I got all purpose flour. And I got some cornbread, some baking powder, these little Skittles. Bread. I got some more Tylenol, brown sugar, sweet potatoes, and I got some steak, some bananas. And then I needed some chargers, so I got some phone chargers, some hair dye to cover up my wonderful gray, eggs, and some Hawaiian rolls. I honestly feel like even though I did a ton of spring cleaning and I am trying really hard to stick to a regular cleaning routine, my deep cleaning needs to be redone in this house. I feel like there are so many areas that just need a bit of a really good cleaning. And even though I have decluttered and organized all of these cabinets in this kitchen, for example, they need to be redone again. So I am going to be giving you tons of deep cleaning inspiration in the following weeks to come. I definitely need to get a ton done. So if you are brand new to my channel and are looking for some massive speed cleaning or homemaker or just mom made motivation in general, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on my videos because I am definitely going to be giving you tons of inspiration, not only in this video, but in future videos as well. In this particular video, I wanted to give you guys some summer cleaning motivation, but I also wanted to do a little bit of summer decorating. And honestly, I feel like July, August and stuff like that is definitely more of like flags and just kind of that summery feel. So I like to keep my decorations very almost kind of minimal or I don't know, maybe a little bland, but I'm having a hard time deciding on how I want to decorate for summer. But with that said, my husband's grandfather had passed away and when he passed away, he had a ton of like military stuff from whenever he served in the military and things like that. And so we decided to go and get shadow boxes and go ahead and like maybe display some of it. And I thought that this would be a really cool idea, especially for summer decor, because I feel like it has a little bit of like a summer vibe to it, especially like his retirement flag and things like that. So I wanted to display those. But I had a really hard time deciding what I wanted to put in the shadow boxes and how I wanted to do all that. So anyway, you guys will kind of see throughout the video, I really struggle with trying to figure out how I wanted to decorate. But before I could get any decoration done, I wanted to make sure that I got the area deep cleaned. And so I went ahead and did that. I also needed to clean my bird's cage and get that area clean because let's face it, animals can get a little dirty at times especially like their areas and I have a bird so he tends to get 
quite a big mess everywhere all the time. So anyway, we're going to jump into the summer cleaning first and I will be decorating a little bit. So I kind of share two different options and I'm going to be honest, I kind of think I like the second option better. So I will show you guys that towards the end of the video. So make sure you watch this video all the way through so you don't miss out on any of the decorating. I hope this summer clean with me is giving you tons of motivation. If you are doing any summer decorating or any summer deep cleaning or if you have any ideas, tips, or motivation or anything that you want to share that is summer related, let me know down in the video comments. I love to hear from you guys, as you already know. I honestly have been trying to stick to more of an easy cleaning routine because Honestly, my kiddos have been sick on top of all of the natural disaster stuff going on in our area. It has just been a crazy, crazy week. And so I feel like the cleaning routine just kind of gets crazy and all, is a little bit all over the place. So I tend to stick with routines that make sense for me. But like I said, I would love to hear from you guys. So let me know what you guys have planned for the summer as far as cleaning or decorating, or if you have any really cool, fun trips planned or anything like that, let me know down below. I love, like I said, to hear from you guys. So let me know about your summer. As a stay at home mom, I am always cleaning, organizing, decluttering, all of that kind of stuff. And my sweet babies love to help do the decorating, especially when it comes to decorating for summer or anything like that. They love being a part of it. And recently, my little girl did a deep clean on the shelf, and she also did some organizing on it as well. So I don't have to do a ton of that today. And thankfully, I can just get it all organized and we can move on. But anyway, I am so grateful to be able to stay at home with my sweet babies and just have them participate in things like decorating for summer and all of that good stuff. So. I love decorating with antiques and hand-me-downs, and this typewriter was one of those hand-me-downs. I wasn't sure that I loved the way it looked, so I wound up giving two different options, and I will share those both with you at the end. So let me know which one you like better. I did need to go ahead and dust all of these plants and get them nice and clean. These are fake plants, and so, in order to clean them, I usually will put them in my sink and just spray them down with water and get all the dust off of them. I feel like that's a lot easier for me. And then I will also put them outside and let them air dry. Let me know how you guys clean your fake plants. If you have fake plants, if you don't, um, that's completely fine as well. But I prefer to use fake ones and you will see why here in a minute if you are new to my channel I do not have a green thumb I really struggle with plants and things like that so I've been having to do a ton of research to keep the plants on my front porch alive so with these fake ones they are nice and green and I don't ever have to worry about watering them or trying to keep them alive so anyway I'm going ahead and getting those nice and cleaned and then I wind up decorating with them of course so like I said, I will give you both options here towards the end of the video and you let me know which on one my is channel, your favorite. I honestly love sharing real life cleaning videos. Anytime I share a new clean with me video, it really is a real life realistic cleaning one because my house is always clean. I feel like no matter how much I clean my house, it is always a messy house clean with me type video because honestly... <laughs> My house probably needs a massive cleaning or whole house clean or a complete disaster clean on a daily ba basis, but I stay so busy between being a mom and everything else going on in life that it doesn't always happen like that. And so my house is 99% of the time going to be a major disaster or a major mess. So I love sharing those realistic videos with you to give you some real life inspiration. So these green little plants or whatever, they are covered in dust because I don't get them dusted as much as I would love to because it's just one of those things that usually gets put back on the back burner. But anyway, today I am definitely getting them nice and cleaned and you can definitely see the difference in these video shots. 
I've really been struggling with my summer clean and decorating in general because not only am I always needing to get my home clean, but I'm really struggling with trying to figure out how I want to decorate. So like in this particular decorate with me video, I have no idea how I want to get the summer decorating pops of decor in there as well but I also want to keep it very minimal and so I've thought that the flag would be a great touch but I don't even know if I want to use that in the living room or if I want to put it somewhere else like I just don't know so if you guys have any ideas on decorating for summer let me know what you think would be a great addition I do have a few summer decor pieces that I have tucked away I am kind of debating on whether I should bring those out I do have like some palm trees uh, and things like that that are definitely summer kind of tropical feel so I don't know if that would be a good option let me know what you guys are using to decorate for summer and if you guys have any ideas on making summer decor kind of stand out let me know what those are as well My living room was a little bit of a disaster because we kind of lived in here for a few days with no power and had to kind of sleep in here and all that kind of stuff. And so honestly, it is a complete disaster. So I'm just getting everything back to where it should be and just kind of doing a summer reset in here. Of course, I need to do some vacuum cleaning and some mopping and just wiping everything down. And then of course, like I said, my bird's cage was pretty gross as well. So I'm getting that cleaned and then I'm going to jump into showing you what I was talking about earlier when I said I don't have much of a green thumb. I will say that I have been doing a ton of research and I did have a couple of you reach out and give me some tips on my hydrangeas. So thank you so much. I did take that into consideration and moved my plants to make sure that they were getting at least four to six hours of sun. I also found out that hydrangeas, whenever they are not transplanted fast enough, they can get something to do with like the roots not being able to spread out and it makes it really hard for the water the plants to get enough water and stuff and so I winded up having to uh, trim them and all that good stuff but like I said I'll show that to you here in just a few minutes and you can see exactly what I'm talking about I'm in 
gotten quite a few questions about my vacuum cleaner. I am using a Shark. I personally just prefer the corded one. I know that there are tons of people that love the cordless vacuums, especially the Shark or Dyson's. And honestly, I don't have anything against them. I think they're great. My mother-in-law and a few other friends of mine use the cordless ones. And so I know that there are a lot of people that love them and they do an amazing job. I just personally prefer the corded one just so I don't have to worry about making sure it's charged or dying on me. I'm really bad about putting things on the charger. So I personally have just always bought the corded ones. Eventually I might give in and get a cordless vacuum. But if you are interested in checking out the shark vacuum for yourself for yourself i will have that link down below for you and i also needed to uh, or well not needed to i really need to do a deep clean on this rug again it is getting pretty gross i did buy a uh, carpet cleaner not too long ago and i will link that down below for you as well and i do have some videos where i used it on my channel and it does an amazing job so if you are looking for a floor cleaner, especially with summer and stuff like that here, I know that doing a good deep clean on your rug is always a good thing. So anyway, if you are interested in that, I will link that down below for you as well. I did tell you that I kind of was playing with two different options as far as my summer decorating goes. And so I wanted to kind of show you the outcome of what I winded up doing. So option one is with this typewriter and of course the plant and all that good stuff. I definitely think this is really cute and I love the way that it looks, especially with the antique kind of look. It definitely gives off kind of a simplistic minimal vibe and then of course there's a few little pops of just summer in there i do have like some beach decor down in the shelves and things like that so very subtle pops of summer decor and then option number two is this i winded up picking up a candle and this one is a tropical candle. So I feel like it gives it just a little bit of pop of summer decor as well. And then of course I have the beach stuff down in the shelf as well. And then I winded up putting this calendar that belonged to my husband's grandparents in a shadow box. And honestly, I didn't love the way it looked. So I winded up just taking it out. Okay, so I have been doing a ton of research trying to figure out let me show you. So this plant right here is still thriving pretty well and I haven't had any issues with it. But as you can tell, this one is really, really struggling and it's got the same conditions and everything. The other one has, they have the same conditions. So I don't know why it's not thriving very well. So I decided to do a ton of research and figure out what exactly is going on with it. And what I've come to figure out that this one, it has something to do with the roots being like not having enough room to grow. So we're going to switch them around and hopefully this fixes the issue. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to dig this out. So... so basically 
what I've heard is that the roots, this needs to be like broken up and the roots just are not getting enough oxygen. like this leaf is fine but we're gonna remove all of like the flowers so that they have a chance to thrive So you can see a major difference between these flowers and these flowers. Like these are thriving and these are not. So it's actually more harmful to leave these on, but there are some new, there's some new growth down here. So we're gonna leave that alone. And just go ahead and cut this off and just be cautious of like, I think we're gonna just leave the rest. I think it'll be okay. Because hopefully we'll have some more buds come in. All right, so we're gonna clean all this up and just go ahead and water everything. doing better the flowers are starting to open up give them some water moved them out to the Sun so I winded up removing all of the things that I put in the shadow boxes I really don't know 
what I want to use them for. I didn't love the way that they looked with that in there, so I'm gonna just wait. My husband wants to put some of his grandfather's stuff in the shadow boxes, so I'm gonna just wait and see what he doesn't wind up using, and then I may wind up using whatever's left, if there's any left. I don't know. Like I said, I'll show you guys once we have it completely finished, and it was probably gonna be in another video, because like I said, I don't have a clue how I want to use these shadow boxes yet. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.